A man who is homeless in Green Bay says that police told him that he has three days to leave St. John's Park and if his belongings aren't removed from the park, they'll be taken. And an official at St. John's Ministry says other people are being told the same thing. Here's our Green Bay neighborhood reporter, Tyler Job. Corner of Jefferson and Martin, downtown Green Bay. It's St. John's Park where Elijah has been staying. Chronically homeless and it's just, it's just kind of messed up. Elijah prefers to go by his first name. He says he's been staying at the park for five years, but he says he's been told by police. This has been happening for quite some time. That he can't stay there. If you don't get your stuff, they'll throw it away. And that's not right. Elijah says that last Tuesday he was given a notice from Green Bay police that he has 72 hours to remove his belongings. Otherwise, they'll be thrown out. The police department wasn't available for comment, but an official with St. John's Ministry says this has been happening. Homelessness has gotten um, a lot worse in the last couple of years. The pandemic, the economy, drugs, mental health, you name it, there's a lot of things that add into it. Director of Community Engagement at St. John's Ministries, Steve Schauer, says two emergency shelters are now open until the end of April. Schauer says St. John's has permits with the city. One of those allows us to operate um, more beds during the winter months as opposed to the summer. St. John's also has two daytime resource centers to help those without shelter find a permanent home. We have the resources and we have the shelter and it's just connecting to get them to understand that we're here to help. And Elijah is asking for more than just housing. Just let us sleep. Now city code states that nobody can stay in a Green Bay park between 10 o'clock at night and six o'clock in the morning unless it's approved by the city. However, Elijah and others staying at St. John's Park tell me that they've been told to leave when the park is open. In Green Bay, Tyler Job, NBC 26. According to the Institute for Community Alliances, the most recent point in time count found that 558 people in Brown County are homeless. Across the state, in total, there are more than 4,700 people who are homeless.